Hello everyone, my name is Katie and I'm an intern for the Museum of Teaching and Learning. Welcome to our channel. Today we are reading an adaptation of Little Red Riding Hood called The Adventures of Wolf and Red to Grandmother's House. This story was inspired by our own collection of storybook dolls. To read about these dolls here, as well as the origins of the story of Little Red Riding Hood, read our article, Little Red Mystery Solved, which is linked in the description box below. You can also print out your own little book of our little story, like this one here, complete with illustrations from our website. This is also linked in the description box. Now let's get started. The Little Adventures of Wolf and Red to Grandmother's House. Little Red draped her little red cloak with a little red hood around herself as she ran into the kitchen to pack a little basket with treats that she had made the night before. I'm almost ready, exclaimed Little Red. Wolf is coming too. He'll be here any minute. Do you have your muffins? Her mother said. Pack extra for a trail snack. I have them. Bye, Mama, exclaimed Little Red as she ran into the garden where Wolf was smelling the roses. Little Red and Wolf started over the river and through the woods to Grandmother's house they went. The trail wound through trees and Little Red was glad she had her friend. The pathway weaved around walks and jumped over tree roots. Soon the children grew tired and hungry. Their feet dragged and their tempers grew thin. The children neared the little cottage where Grandmother patiently awaited their arrival while tending to her garden. Though little, the cottage had a vast garden with towering rose bushes and fruitful vegetable garden containing the freshest greens and potatoes in the whole wood. The smell of potato pie wafted from the windows. Wolf said with a rumble from his tummy, Wow, I'm hungry. I wish I had a snack. Well, I packed a snack, said Little Red with emphasis. Give me one then, yelled Wolf as he snatched the basket out of Little Red's hand and devoured the muffin. No, it's mine, exclaimed Little Red. What big teeth you have. You're going to eat them all. I do not have big teeth, said Wolf as he dropped the basket offended. Why are you being so mean? You took my muffins. You wouldn't share. You didn't ask. As Little Red and Wolf shoved each other back and forth, a voice carried over the garden bushes. Children, what's going on here? Little Red and Wolf shouted at the same time, pointing their fingers at each other. Pick up the basket, please, and tell me what happened without yelling. Wolf, you go first, Grandmother said calmly. Wolf took a deep breath and said, Little Red wouldn't share, so I took a muffin from her, and then she made fun of my teeth, so I pushed her. But Wolf didn't ask for a muffin, exclaimed Little Red. Grandmother knelt down by the children, picking up the basket of muffins. These look very delicious. Now, Little Red, when your friend is hungry and you have food to spare, the kind thing to do is share, and assaulting appearances is never okay. I know, Grandma. I was just so mad he took my basket away, lamented Little Red. I'm sorry, Wolf. It's okay to feel mad, Little Red, but you have to share your feelings instead of calling people names, exclaimed Grandmother. Now, Wolf, if you want to share a snack, asking is the nicest thing to do, and it's always best to use your words instead of pushing your friends. I'm sorry I took your basket and pushed you, Little Red, Wolf said, turning to Little Red and eyeing the basket of muffins. Here's a muffin. I packed extra, shared Little Red. Grandmother smiled. Let's enjoy our muffins inside. I have juice and fresh potato pie. After enjoying the muffins, the children were full and content. All feeling of annoyance had drifted away. Little Red grabbed her little red cloak with the little red hood as Wolf picked up the basket, now loaded with potato pie and fresh vegetables from Grandmother's garden. Little Red and Wolf started through the woods and over the river back to Mother's house they went. Little Red was once again happy she had her friend, for when they grew tired and hungry again, the potato pie was shared without worry or complaint. The end.
Thank you for joining us today. For more from Modal, hit subscribe and follow us on our Facebook and Instagram accounts.